So now I'm just going to show you uh, what you should be looking for uh, in post-carving cows. So just to check that post-carving cows are healthy and you don't need to be worried too much about them. Um, a lot of this is probably something that a lot of farmers will do day in, day out anyway without even thinking about it. Um, but commonly is just looking at the demeanor of the animal. Is a coat stood up on end? Uh, does she look full room and fill? Um, has she got nice, you know, nice full rumen? Does she look dehydrated? Um, are her eyes sunken or do they look bright and alert? Um, and is she in herself, you know, moving around, milking okay, uh, not smelly uh, at the back end, things like that. So they're the common things which as farmers you will all do day in, day out without even thinking about it. But those are the important, you know, all of those are important indicators of how healthy the cow is post carving. So as farmers, the only thing that most of the time we would recommend so is to take daily temperatures uh, of cows post-carving, uh, certainly for, for the first week or so, uh, making sure that they're not uh, getting sick or metritis. Um, so as I'm sure everyone knows, temperature of a cow should be 38.5 or 101.5 uh, in Fahrenheit. And uh, if there's any uh, sort of extreme deviation from that then it's worth uh, checking her out more thoroughly uh, and this would involve uh, checking out if there's any discharge within the vulva and uterus itself.